Hello, I'm Julie Cronshaw. I've been teaching Chiquetti Method Classical Ballet in London for more than 25 years. I graduated from the Royal Ballet School Teachers Training Course in 1986 and danced professionally before setting up my own school. I'm a Fellow of the ISTD in the Chiquetti Method and hold the Enrico Chiquetti Diploma. Most recently, I've made a film called Ballet's Secret Code, which is available on this channel. And for more information, content and even more videos, you can go to the website balletsecretcode.com. I hope you enjoy this video. Hello, let's talk about renversé. Renversé is a beautiful step of our dash that I'm sure everyone is very familiar with. We've seen it in the classical ballet class. There, and a pas de brillant tournant. Renversé means to upset. In Chiquetti Method, there are several kinds of renversés, and I'd like to introduce you to these different kinds of renversés today. So, the first one, which is the more familiar of the renversés, is the renversé en dehors. And in this instance, the leg goes from the front at half height to 90 degrees in the second, round to the arabesque on the, the croisé alignment, the arms joined together, the legs then join in the fifth position, the body does the renversé in the fifth position on tournant, and then the dancer chasses out onto the other side. And it's often preceded with a little demi contreton, or it might come from a little coupé under. So I'll try and show that one more time in slow motion. It's a little different from the renversé where you use the same arm as the standing leg. In this instance, the arms go through second as the leg goes through second. The arms go one high and one low as we go into the fourth position. There's a long allongé feeling on fondue and the renversé happens when the legs are together in the fifth position on relevé and then you chasse out of it. So that's the renversé of adage that we find in Chiquetti method. Here is a little video of Muriel Valta doing the renversé exercise uh, as a pirouette, where a series of renversés are done at speed, surplus. So if you imagine doing it as a, perhaps a series of fouetté rond de jambe, this is a series of renversé. And again, the body is going en dehors. So that's the renversé en dehors. Chiquetti also does renversé en dedans. The renversé en dedans usually starts with a preparation into arabesque with the leg at 90 degrees at the back. The body then tilts with the foot on a low relevé. The arms come together like this. And then without putting the foot down, the dancer continues to rotate. The renversé, as you can see, is happening in the body. And then at the end of the movement, the leg devrepays to a high ecarte upstage and the eye focus is then taken downstage with the foot remaining on relevé. And here is Muriel showing the renversé en dedans exercise, which is an adage from Tuesday. And Tuesday steps are all about the use of the body in épaulement. One of the most beautiful elements of renversé, which is in of itself an extremely beautiful step and very difficult to get right, is the upsetting of the body, hence the name renversé. I often feel a little bit cheated when I watch a renversé and the dancer simply does 
a glorious attitude, fifth position, pas de bray en tournant. What I want to see is the body bend, whether it's the more familiar attitude and the pas de bourre, or the less familiar Cicchetti version, or even less familiar, the Rombersé en dedans. In the Spanish dancing school that I learned when I was at the Royal Valley School, which is called Escuela Valera, we have a term called Vuelta con Pecho, and that involves a movement of Rombersé in the back. I hope you enjoyed this video. Look out for some more about steps we rarely do in the ballet class today. Thank you. Hello, I hope you enjoyed the video. On my website, balletsecretco.com, there are over 150 videos with commentary by me and interviews. If you're interested in classical ballet and the Cicchetti method and the physical principles that underpin all dancing, not just ballet, do check out balletsecretco.com and you can access all of this for just $2.99. Lastly, I made a documentary called Ballet Secret Code. It took many years to bring together and you can watch it for free on YouTube. Here's the trailer. <laughs>